Hi there folks, Andrew here at ChatFuel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about sharing your Messenger bot, specifically how your bot subscribers can share and promote your bot on your behalf. Essentially it's free promotion, so who wouldn't love that? Before we get started, the reason I'm making this video is because in recent months, Facebook has deprecated the sharing functionality in gallery cards. In case you're new and you don't know exactly what that means, essentially in this gallery plugin that we have, which is a Facebook feature, Facebook has removed what they used to include here, which was a share button. And this would, as you could imagine, allow bot subscribers to easily share and forward the content in this gallery card to their friends on Messenger. It was a really popular way of promoting bots and achieving some sense of virality. But again, Facebook has deprecated that feature. It's not the end of the world, but I wanted to create this video to show you some creative workarounds and solutions to this problem. So I have two specific workarounds to share. The first, as you can see up here, the copy and paste method, as I'll call it, and the second, which is the forwarding method. So let's get started here with the copy and paste method. This is the easiest and it can be effective, but my personal favorite is the forwarding method, although it is a little bit more labor intensive. So let's get started with this copy paste solution. Essentially, let's imagine here that we are creating a bot for an ice cream shop. We have a product recommendation quiz. This company is selling ice cream online. We're gonna go through in the bot, ask users a couple of questions about their preferences. And then at the end of that, we're going to recommend a ice cream flavor to them. We can then provide them a link to buy it. And there we go. So. To put this in context, let's say a user completes that quiz, they get their preferred ice cream, and then they want to share that with a friend. Maybe we as the bot creators also have some sort of incentive, hey, share this with your friends and we'll give you a discount, something to that effect. So let's say at the end of that quiz, we want them to share their result and get their friend to take the quiz as well, thereby becoming a bot subscriber and a potential customer in the future. So the copy and paste method is very, very simple, right? For this, we're gonna use two text cards. The first one, we're going to explain to the user how to share the bot with their friend. And then in the second one, we're going to include and write an actual message that they can easily just copy and paste individually to their friends on Messenger. And keep in mind, this is just a small part of the greater context. Obviously, we're not creating the quiz here. This would be on, let's say, the results block where you could then provide this information and have the user share it. So in this first text card, let's say something like, hold down the message below to copy it and then share the quiz with your friend on Messenger, right? So in this case, we're assuming perhaps the audience isn't super tech savvy because we're explicitly telling them, hey, hold down the message if you're on mobile to copy it and then paste it to your friends. Obviously, depending on your target demographic, you might not need to explain this at all. You can just say, hey, copy and paste the message below and send it to friends. Also, we don't just have to limit them to sharing on Messenger. Obviously, if they're copy and pasting a link, they can share it wherever they choose. So maybe we'd wanna modify this text a little bit. But nonetheless, let's actually now move on to the message itself. And so here we have a number of options for what we can do. We can either be super straightforward and literally just include an m.me link to the bot. For example, m.me forward slash Andrew's demo bot. We could just do that and have them share that link with their friends, obviously super straightforward, or we could go the extra step of saying something like, hey, it's the user's first name who will be sharing the message with their friend. I just took this ice cream quiz and my favorite flavor is, we could either hard code this in, or the better option would be assuming we have some attribute that we set based on the user's preferences, we could include an attribute here dynamically that says something like flavor. And then we can continue by saying some sort of call to action, right? So take the quiz below and share your results with me too. Okay, great. 
So essentially, long story short, what we're doing here is we're creating the very message that users can just send so they don't have to type anything out, right? They can literally just copy and paste this, send it to a friend. It's going to include their first name, meaning the user's first name who's sharing the message, their favorite flavor, so it's personalized, and there's nothing else to do. Again, we could just keep it simple and include that normal m.me link, but I think this goes the extra mile, makes it more shareable because now a user doesn't have to type out that message to their friend. They can just share it as is, maybe modify it a tiny bit, and they're good to go. So this is the copy and paste method, super simple. If they're on desktop, they just highlight the text, control V or control C, control V. If they're on mobile, they hold it down and paste it to their friends. But the downside of this method, as mentioned earlier, is that you have to send this message individually to people, whereas with the forwarding method that I'll show you now, you can easily mass message whatever content you want to your friends on Messenger. So. As I mentioned, this is a little bit more complex, so buckle in. It's not too bad, but it is more advanced than the copy and paste method. How this will work is we need to use what Facebook calls its media template. And the code for that is right here. Don't worry, you don't have to write any code. It's literally just copy and pasting and making a couple modifications. But this is what, again, Facebook calls its media template. Essentially, this will be an image that we can attach a button to and then easily forward that on Messenger, both on desktop and mobile. Keep in mind, you could use technically other templates like the gallery card or text, but unfortunately, Facebook is really funky in what kind of content it allows you to forward between desktop and mobile. So with this media template, why I suggest it is because it can be forwarded both on desktop and mobile. You don't have to segment and try to figure out what device your chatbot subscribers are on. It will work universally, which makes life a whole lot easier for you and for them. So let's first copy this code and then we're gonna go to a website called jasonblob.com. This is essentially an online code editor. I am just using this for demonstrational purposes. I don't recommend using this in production. You should use your own server and your own scripts, but for demonstrational purposes, this makes things a breeze. So I'm going to now paste in that code and we're gonna make a couple modifications here. First, we're going to replace the video here with an image. Unfortunately, you can't use a video if you want to maintain that forwarding option on desktop and mobile. So you have to use an image, and this will make more sense in a second when I show you what this actually looks like to the user. So as mentioned, let's replace this video phrase right here with image, and then we're going to obviously need to replace the URL here as well. So to get the URL of the image, first we need to upload an image. And in this case, I've uploaded it to a Facebook page. Keep in mind, this doesn't need to be uploaded to the same Facebook page that your bot is connected to. It can be from any Facebook page or profile as well. So I have the URL here, but unfortunately, before we paste it into JSON blob, we need to actually kind of create our own URL. We can't just copy and paste it as is. And so the guidelines for this are outlined here in some Facebook documentation. I'll include a link to this in the description of this video. And in this case, we're using an image from a Facebook page, not a private account. And so let's copy this as the template that we'll use. I'm gonna paste this in here for the time being. And now we need to replace this part of the URL with our page name. In this case, it's Andrew's Demo Bot. So I'm going to type that in here, Andrew's Demo Bot. And then we need the numeric ID of the post. So in this case, it is this second number in the URL right before the question mark. And so I will copy and paste that to finish assembling our URL here. Okay, great. So now we have the link set up, we've changed it to an image so we can forward this both on desktop and mobile. And then finally, or second to last, I'm gonna remove these quick replies down here. You can keep these, but I'm just gonna keep a very clean media template here. So I'm gonna remove all of this and there we go. Final thing we wanna do here is modify the call to action. So let's say that when we're forwarding this to a friend, we want that call to action to be find your favorite flavor. So we'll type that in here, find your favorite 
flavor. Keep in mind that you cannot use emojis in this, so important to note, they won't show up. And then for the URL here, we have a couple options as well. We could just include a general m.me link to our chatbot, or what I recommend, especially if this quiz is located in a deeper flow within the chatbot, you can include a ref link as well that goes directly to that block so that when the person interacting with the bot shares it with a friend, that friend can go directly where they need to go instead of having to go through all the onboarding and all of that. So I'm gonna include an m.me link here. I'll just take it directly to Andrew's demo bot. But again, if you wanted to include a ref link, you could do that by the question mark ref equals and then including that URL that ChatField generates for you when you create a ref link. But I'll just keep it simple for now. Then we're gonna click save and we're almost ready. We're gonna copy the URL generated here. Copy that, go back into the ChatField dashboard and paste it into the JSON API plugin. So I'm gonna click the more option here, JSON API, choose the type from post to get, and then for the URL, we just need to make one modification, which is after this backslash, we're gonna type in API, another backslash, and now we are golden, we're good to go. So I'm gonna click test the request, it will be okay. And now let's actually test the bot to see what this looks like. So I'll click test your bot. I'll go over here into Messenger. And voila, there we go. You can see that the text got cut off because I exceeded the character limit, so we'd probably wanna go back and modify that a bit. But here we go, right? You would probably wanna give the user some onboarding because ultimately how the forwarding works is you click this arrow button here, this upward arrow, click on that, and then you can type in the names of whoever you wanna share with. On mobile, it will actually populate a list of your most engaged and interactive friends. So you can just click, 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 and send that off to share the bot. So again, this is probably the most intuitive way for users to share your bot. Obviously, it requires a little bit more legwork on the back end, but nothing insurmountable. And so that's essentially how this works. Again, the copy and paste method, super simple to set up, but kind of cumbersome to explain to users. This is amazing. Again, my only other advice would be to include some sort of text above this or below it perhaps explaining how users can easily share this with their friends. And of course, you just click this call to action. It takes them directly to the bot after they click get started. It'll take them to that specific URL that you created with the ref link. So that is this tutorial. I know it was a little bit longer than usual, but I think this is super important information to share as the gallery card sharing option has gone away and been deprecated. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or just let me know how you plan on using this feature, what use cases you have in mind, whether it's getting more signatures on a petition or selling more ice cream. Let me know down below in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video and happy botting.